Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how to parse data from XML using Power Automate. This is the XML which I am going to use. In this XML, I have uh, some data related to the employees like ID, name, department, position, salary, and then certain contact detail under under contact note like email, phone, address. So what I am going to do, I am going to parse all this data using Power Automate from this particular XML and I will store this in a SharePoint list. This is the SharePoint list where I have created all the columns again the data which I wanted to store like ID, department, position, salary, email and other things. So let's see how I am going to parse this data. So what I will do, I will quickly create a Power Automate flow. Uh, I will say cloud flow instant manual uh, flow I will create. I will name this flow as demo parse XML. Okay, so I have to read the data from the XML. My XML is stored in the SharePoint site in the uh, default document library. I will be reading the XML content from here. So for that, what I will do, get file content action, I will use. For that, I will say get file content because my XML is stored in the document library and I will say get file content using path. Site address is the POC site. And file path from here I'll select. It is in the default document library, share documents. And here name is employee XML. So this is done. I do not need any other uh, kind of advanced options. So as a next step, I have already read the data. Now I wanted to uh, parse this XML. So what I will do, I will use parse JSON action to parse this XML. But this data is present in the XML format parse json action will not directly work over here if i use this parse json so this action need the content in the xml format i cannot use it directly first of all i have to convert this uh, xml data into json for that what i will do i will use one compose action over here and using expression i will convert this data into xml so compose and now over here what i will do i will use expressions in the under expression tab i will write json and you will see i have to uh, provide the value over here so but uh, i have to this is the xml which i have and in the xml function i have to type pass the xml content which is present i will get the as an output of this section called get file content using path so i'll select this from here and this should work now and i will say okay so I will again, uh, you know, repeat this expression. You can find this expression in the description box below as well. What I have done, I have simply taken this JSON function. Inside this, I have uh, used this XML function and then I got the output from the previous section, get file content using path. For you, this action might get very based on from where you are getting the XML content. So you have to pass that over here. So this is done. Next is I have to pass this JSON. But for that i need the schema over here i have to provide the schema so what uh, as usual i do i will run this flow i'll get the output from this compose action i will put it from here and then i will proceed with the rest of the flow so for now what i'll do i'll delete this one and i will save and run this flow now i will test this flow i'll say manually test continue run flow so flow ran successfully let's see the output from the compose action so you could see this is the XML which I have passed and this is the output which I have got in the JSON format. So now what I'll do, I'll just copy it as it is from here, edit and I'll add a new action called parse JSON. Data operation, parse JSON and here I'll get the content as an output of the compose action, compose action output and for this schema I'll say generate from sample and I will Paste that compose action output over here, done, and automatically I will get this schema. Now I got this schema, I have already passed, let's say how I will store it in a SharePoint list, that should be very simple. But that will help us to understand whether we are able to parse this data rightly or not, once we are able to store this in a SharePoint list and then we can quickly do a validation. I will say create item and you could see in this particular XML, if I go, I have multiple data related to the employee so how many records i have so id is five i have total five records so this flow should create five records in this particular list so let's go over here 
again uh, site x site will remain the same that is poc site and this time list name is the employed data let's see yes employed data and now over here i'll get the all the columns so for employee id i'll get it i should get it from here i'll say for id i'll say id yes this is done automatically because you could see there are multiple items and this is an array automatically a for loop or apply to each loop got added now i will add rest of the columns first of all the name then department then position so this is everything i am getting from parsejson employee department salary email that so if, if you carefully see this xml this details is you know again is you know nested under contact uh, this node so everything is nested under employee uh, node but this contact details is uh, you know further nested so but with the help of this parse json everything is uh, quite simple for us then phone and if you further go over here for the address i have street city state and zip code so all these things i will directly store in one single column called address so what all i have to do street city state and zip code so i'll say street city state and zip code and this is done i'll save my flow and now i will run this flow and if five record gets created in this particular list that means we are able to successfully pass the xml save flow save test i'll use the last trigger only and run so flow ran successfully i'll come to this particular list i'll say refresh and you could see we have got the entire data from that particular xml in the sharepoint list employee id if you wanted to do a quick validation let's say for the first record name is john doy then department engineering position software engineering salary $80000 and contact details email id phone and complete address is stored over here so guys this is how you can parse the data from xml i'll quickly give you a quick review i have done nothing just read the data from the xml using get file content then you have to convert your xml data into xml you can find the expression in the description box below i have used the json function and the xml function then our regular function you know parse json which we regularly used the, the, it will parse uh, all the data and then using this apply to each loop create the item in the sharepoint list so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till then much love keep learning thank you